Hello everyone, Anthony here once again for another collection update. We got a couple items here. The other item actually came in a lot sooner than I thought. I guess it's because they just uh, shipped it out closer to the Jersey area. So here we go, we got this package here. This is the first one that I ordered from Best Buy's website. And because we didn't have it in store, we had it for like a second, but and we didn't have it. Some shit. Make sure there's an address slip in there, so I'm gonna make sure that's out. Okay, there we go. Resident Evil Vendetta. This is in the 4K, the Best Buy exclusive steelbook. It's fully immersive Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos. So it's actually really cool. Dolby Atmos is awesome. Uh, but I'm looking forward to the bonus features. Shout out to uh, Andrew over at Crimson Elder. He actually showed me some of the features in there because he got this a little bit earlier. And because, uh, you know, over where he is, he's, he gets some released a little bit sooner than we do. Um, but yeah, this also comes with the uh, digital, I think. Maybe it comes with digital. I don't, it doesn't say it comes with digital copy. But anyway, let's, uh, let's open it up. And uh, this is already hard to get. My again, my best. I didn't have it, and I couldn't even order it for in-store pickup. I had to actually just, uh, like, get it, and it came from like Kentucky or something, because that was the one Best Buy that had it. So there you go. You got the little cover on the back there, which these are always weird. I always getting Blu-rays. They do this, and they're like the backs, but you know, if you peel it off, you get the little Gatling Gunner guy there, and you know, so that's cool. And it does come with a little pamphlet, not for a code, but it just comes with like a little, this is 4K Ultra. Uh, so I don't have a 4K Blu-ray player, no, but I do have a Blu-ray. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm guessing the features are the same on both. That's kind of cool. Um, oh no, there's, disc, there's a disc behind that disc. Okay, so you're at your 4K. And the bonus disc, which is also Blu-ray. And then you got Chris and then Leon in the back of that. So that's actually cool they did it. At least it didn't come broken where I have to have loose discs everywhere. But it's a really nice steelbook. Uh, the artwork's very glossy, very nice. Um, it's gonna look awesome on the Blu-ray shelf. I just need to get Damnation, I believe, on Blu-ray. Is it Degeneration or Damnation? Let me check. Damnation. Damnation is the only one I need on Steelbooks, so then I'll complete my Steelbook collection. So that's the first item that we got there, and that's always cool. Vendetta. We did a podcast review on it, me and John. Really good film. Uh, definitely a, a, a nice little CG film that uh, people kind of expected to be pretty decent, and it, and it was. Actually, it was really, really cool. This next one which is in this little packaging here. Um, I mean, I just took it out of a bigger envelope, but this is a smaller envelope. I found this really cheap. This person must have not known what the hell this was going for, so I grabbed it immediately, impulse buy, but I kind of had to, and it is Resident Evil on the PC, released in 1997. So yeah, yeah, I know this isn't the big box that it used to come in, um, you know, because I used to have that for Resident Evil 3, but I lost that when I was very little moving and stuff, so, um, but that goes for like $300. If you want to find these inside the big boxes, and I used to see them all the time in Babbage's back in the day, uh, but yeah, so it's really expensive. I can't afford that. Some people can, I can't. So it's still the actual physical copy of the PC version. And you open it up here, you got the zombie. The disc, he put the disc in here, uh, which, you know, I don't know why he did that, but that's still nice. M really mint condition. There's like some light scratches, but nothing, nothing too like, you know, you're not gonna be able to like not play it. Um, you still probably can with Windows 10, you just gotta do some shit alter some settings. I got Resident Evil 3 to actually run, so, you know, who knows. 
But this is a actual, a really thick manual here. Um, so this is the one with the uncensored uh, cutscenes. And this is telling you stuff about Windows 95 because that's what you would have to run it on. Top secret, it's got all the information here. Starting a mission, save it, saving um, items, how to equip them. I don't even think our manual was this actual like detailed. It's got the character bios as normal. This is pretty cool. Fans of poor online hints. Troubleshooting. Limited warranty. Service. Problems ever saw in direct X. These are like all issues for like PC. And notes. So the manual is in good condition. The case itself is actually in good condition. And it's also something else that I needed for my uh, PC Resident Evil collection. The next one on the PC list is Resident Evil 2 the Platinum Edition which goes for about 60 bucks uh, which isn't you know it's probably around just as expensive as this is normally but again I found this for a really good deal so it's like 20 bucks or something like that so really good um, I like the back too it's awesome of course the back of the big box has the shots of the game and such the disc that was inside uh, but again, that's really expensive. You go on eBay, you're mostly going to see these, not the big box. In fact, those are a little bit harder to find. Um, but yeah, so uh, let's go put this in some of these uh, collections here. All right, so this is the Resident Evil Vendetta Steelbook going up there. All of my PC versions in the same spot, but I just had to stop the camera so I can use two hands and move stuff down. So all my PC ports are here. And there it goes nicely. So I officially have every single version of Resident Evil 1. Just like how I have three. I have three in this case. Because I even lost a slim case for that. I know, I was a mess. Uh, but I got to rebuy some that. That's like the one thing I have to actually rebuy. Um, but other than that, yeah. So that's it for the other collection update. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the streams. Eternal Darkness, podcasts, all that stuff. You guys have been awesome. I'm going to be giving away some more stuff on these streams. So stay tuned. Catch you guys next time.